Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing a really quick tutorial on how to depot your Wet n Wild eyeshadows. I like to depot mine and take them out of these palettes and then pop them into Z palettes. If you've entered my recent giveaway, you've seen this guy before, but this is my own personal one. I actually keep all of my favorite eyeshadows in here, and that is including some Wet n Wild shadows. There's this trio, and I also used to have a six pan one right here, so I know that this will fit perfectly right there. So this is really easy. I actually learned how to do this from an old YouTuber. Um, her name was Miss Madam Makeup. However, she no longer makes videos and her videos are no longer available. So I have been getting some questions about how to depot these, but unfortunately I'm unable to refer them to her videos anymore. So 100% credit goes to Miss Madam Makeup for this. However, I am here just to kind of pass along the information if that makes sense. So basically what you're going to need is you're going to need a little paper towel. I just kind of have a little half sheet right here. And then you're going to need a little knife or something kind of pointy to kind of wedge it out. You might be able to get away with using a butter knife, but I would just recommend a regular kitchen knife. You also need a lighter. I would recommend using a lighter with kind of like this long neck right here. Obviously you're going to need your Wet n Wild eyeshadows and then something to put them in. So you're gonna see the sticker that's kind of on the back of this. You're gonna to wanna to kind of slowly peel that off because we're going to have to melt the plastic and we don't want that sticker getting in the way because it will get on fire. And mine has multiple layers here. So we took off that first layer and then I'm gonna go ahead and take off that second layer as well. Sorry, this is a little tricky. And make sure you work slowly because otherwise you'll get that uh-oh and you won't be able to get all of the sticker off because you went too fast. Oh no, see, then stuff like that starts to happen. I need to slow down there. Okay, and if a little bit's left behind, it's not the biggest deal. I'm just gonna try and get the remainder off. So, pretty clear. So what we're gonna wanna do now you're gonna take your lighter and you're just gonna put it under one eyeshadow. So we just wanna aim for this first black one. So we'll take it, you have to point it upwards, so I apologize that you can't really see this. So when it has started to smoke, you're gonna take your knife and carefully poke a little hole. Not too hard though. We might have to melt it just a little bit more. You'll see how it kind of wedges it out. And then once you've wedged it out, go ahead and pop it out with your knife. So now that you've done that, go ahead and put it on your little paper towel. And just like that, easy peasy. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the rest of them. And this is just melting the glue that is holding those pans in here. So, I hope you guys found this tutorial relatively useful. This would also apply to the Wet n Wild trios and 8 pan palettes. I've deployed pretty much every Wet n Wild palette that's available, so I thought that this was pretty easy and really, really helpful for storing and also traveling with my Wet n Wild shadows. I like to have them all kind of in one place rather than have them kind of cluttered amongst each other separately like that. So I hope that you found this helpful, and if you do try it out, go ahead and send me a picture on uh, Facebook or Twitter. So I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll talk to you later.